is still feeling a big impact. Tonight, PG&E is making progress in restoring that power, but the latest numbers from the utility show 35,000 customers still in the dark. That's an improvement, though, from this time last night when 157,000 people were without power. Tonight, the biggest impact being felt in the East Bay and along the peninsula. Live coverage now from KTV South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters in Woodside with more on the situation there tonight. LaMonica. I'm on Woodside Road downtown and it is completely black here. No street lights, no business lights. So we spoke to people here and in Pacifica about losing power to find out what they're going to do until it comes back on. We've been out of power here since probably 11 a.m. Um, and I think I got a text from PG&E that said it wasn't going to be on until 11 tomorrow night. After the latest atmospheric river hit the peninsula with winds of up to 70 miles per hour, thousands of people were left without power overnight. As of 5 p.m. on Wednesday, 19,744 customers on the peninsula were waiting for their power to be restored, 6,700 of them in Pacifica. First and foremost, we know this has had such an impact on the peninsula. These customers here have really seen the brunt of these storms because of this heavy vegetation that we have, this beautiful vegetation, but it really has impacted power. PG&E says they have about 6,000 crews responding to storm recovery. Strong winds and heavy rain brought down dozens of trees and power lines in the Bay Area. In Woodside, about 1,500 customers were without power Wednesday, including Roberts Market in downtown Woodside. Trying to keep the doors open as best as possible. It went down yesterday about a quarter to two. So we tried to save all the frozen goods and, you know, as much as we could. Um, today, still not up, so put a lot of stuff in the back freezers that still work fine. People weren't able to get their soups and their meats and etc. but you can pick some stuff off the shelves, get some produce, things like that. Try to keep the doors open so people can get at least something. PG&E says 78% of customers usually have power restored within 12 hours, and long outage periods are due to challenges gaining access to power lines. They say Tuesday's storm was the 14th major weather event since the beginning of the year. They advise people to take precautions and be ready for whatever may come next. And probably the most important message is just making sure if you see lower down power lines, always assume they're live. Keep yourself and others away and call 911 and PG&E immediately. PG&E says there could be downed live wires underneath fallen trees as well, so it's best not to touch those either. They also told us that they hope to have most of the power back on on the peninsula before the end of the night. Mike? Difficult time for so many out there. LaMonica Peters live tonight in Woodside. LaMonica, thank you. Outages